Campylobacteriosis, Wikipedia article audio. Campylobacteriosis is an infection by the Campylobacter bacterium, most commonly C. jejuni. It is among the most common bacterial infections of humans, often a foodborne illness. It produces an inflammatory, sometimes bloody, diarrhea or dysentery syndrome, mostly including cramps, fever, and pain. The prodromal symptoms are fever, headache, and myalgia, which can be severe, lasting as long as 24 hours. After 1-5 days, typically, these are followed by diarrhea or dysentery, cramps, abdominal pain, and fever as high as 40 degrees Celsius. In most people, the illness lasts for 2-10 days. It is classified as invasive slash inflammatory diarrhea, also described as bloody diarrhea or dysentery. Symptoms Complications There are other diseases showing similar symptoms. For instance, abdominal pain and tenderness may be very localized, mimicking acute appendicitis. Furthermore, Helicobacter pylori is closely related to Campylobacter and causes peptic ulcer disease. Complications include toxic megacolon, dehydration, and sepsis. Such complications generally occur in young children and immunocompromised people. A chronic course of the disease is possible, this disease process is likely to develop without a distinct acute phase. Chronic campylobacteriosis features a long period of subfebral temperature and asthenia, eye damage, arthritis, endocarditis may develop if infection is untreated. Occasional deaths occur in young, previously healthy individuals because of blood volume depletion, and in persons who are elderly or immunocompromised. Some individuals develop Guillain-Barre syndrome, in which the nerves that join the spinal cord and brain to the rest of the body are damaged, sometimes permanently. This occurs only with infection of C. jejuni and C. eupsiliensis. In patients with HIV, infections may be more frequent, may cause prolonged bouts of dirty brown diarrhea and may be more commonly associated with bacteremia and antibiotic resistance. In participants of unprotected anal intercourse, campylobacteriosis is more localized to the distal end of the colon and may be termed apricticolitis. The severity and persistence of infection in patients with AIDS and hypogammaglobulemia indicates that both cell-mediated and humoral immunity are important in preventing and terminating infection. Other Factors Campylobacteriosis is caused by Campylobacter bacteria. The disease is usually caused by C. jejuni, a spiral, and comma-shaped bacterium normally found in cattle, swine, and birds, where it is non-pathogenic, but the illness can also be caused by C. coli, C. eupsiliensis and C. lari. One effect of campylobacteriosis is tissue injury in the gut. The sites of tissue injury include the jejunum, the ileum, and the colon. C. jejuni appears to achieve this by invading and destroying epithelial cells. Cause C. jejuni can also cause a latent autoimmune effect on the nerves of the legs, which is usually seen several weeks after a surgical procedure of the abdomen. The effect is known as an acute idiopathic demyelinating polyneuropathy, i.e. Guillain-Barre syndrome, in which one sees symptoms of ascending paralysis, dysesthesias usually below the waist, and in the later stages, respiratory failure. Some strains of C. jejuni produce a cholera-like enterotoxin, which is important in the watery diarrhea observed in infections. The organism produces diffuse, bloody, edematous, and exudative enteritis. 
In a small number of cases, the infection may be associated with hemolytic uremic syndrome and thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura through a poorly understood mechanism. The common routes of transmission for the disease-causing bacteria are fecal-oral, person-to-person sexual contact, ingestion of contaminated food milk and undercooked or poorly handled poultry, and waterborne. Contact with contaminated poultry, livestock, or household pets, especially puppies, can also cause disease. Transmission Animals farmed for meat are the main source of campylobacteriosis. A study published in Plus Genetics by researchers from Lancashire, England, and Chicago, Illinois, found that 97% of campylobacteriosis cases sampled in Lancashire were caused by bacteria typically found in chicken and livestock. In 57% of cases, the bacteria could be traced to chicken, and in 35% to cattle. Wild animal and environmental sources were accountable for just 3% of disease. Diagnosis The infectious dose is 1010,000 bacteria. Campylobacter species are sensitive to hydrochloric acid in the stomach, an acid reduction treatment can reduce the amount of inoculum needed to cause disease. Prevention Exposure to bacteria is often more common during traveling, and therefore campylobacteriosis is a common form of traveler's diarrhea. Campylobacter organisms can be detected by performing a gram stain of a stool sample with high specificity and a sensitivity of 60%, but are most often diagnosed by stool culture. Fecal leukocytes should be present and indicate the diarrhea to be inflammatory in nature. Methods currently being developed to detect the presence of campylobacter organisms include antigen testing via an EIA or PCR. Treatment The World Health Organization recommends the following. The infection is usually self-limiting, and in most cases, Symptomatic treatment by liquid and electrolyte replacement is enough in human infections. Antibiotic treatment only has a marginal effect on the duration of symptoms, and its use is not recommended except in high-risk patients with clinical complications. Erythromycin can be used in children, and tetracycline in adults. Some studies show, however, that erythromycin rapidly eliminates campylobacter from the stool without affecting the duration of illness. Nevertheless, children with dysentery due to C. jejuni benefit from early treatment with erythromycin. Treatment with antibiotics, therefore, depends on the severity of symptoms. Quinolones are effective if the organism is sensitive but high rates of quinolone use in livestock means that quinolones are now largely ineffective. Antimotility agents, such as lopiramide, can lead to prolonged illness or intestinal perforation in any invasive diarrhea, and should be avoided. Trimethoprim-slash-sulfamethoxazole and ampicillin are ineffective against campylobacter. Antibiotics in the past, poultry infections were often treated by mass administration of enrofloxacin and serifloxacin for single instances of infection. The FDA banned this practice, as it promoted the development of fluoroquinolone-resistant populations. A major broad-spectrum fluoroquinolone used in humans is ciprofloxacin. In animals Currently growing resistance of the campylobacter to fluoroquinolones and macrolids is of a major concern. Food should be properly cooked and hot when served, consume only pasteurized or boiled milk and milk products, never raw milk products, make sure that ice is from safe water, if you are not sure of the safety of drinking water. 
boil it, or disinfect it with chemical disinfectant, wash hands thoroughly and frequently with soap, especially after using the toilet and after contact with pets and farm animals, wash fruits and vegetables thoroughly, especially if they are to be eaten raw. Peel fruits and vegetables whenever possible, food handlers, professionals, and at home should observe hygienic rules during food preparation, professional food handlers should immediately report to their employer any fever, diarrhea, vomiting or visible infected skin lesions. Campylobacteriosis is usually self-limited without any mortality. However, there are several possible complications. Campylobacter is one of the most common causes of human bacterial gastroenteritis. For instance, an estimated 2 million cases of Campylobacter enteritis occur annually in the U.S., accounting for 5-7% of cases of gastroenteritis. Furthermore, in the United Kingdom during 2000, Campylobacter jejuni was involved in 77.3% in all cases of laboratory-confirmed foodborne illness. About 15 of every 100,000 people are diagnosed with campylobacteriosis every year, and with many cases going unreported, up to 0.5% of the general population may unknowingly harbor campylobacter in their gut. A large animal reservoir is present as well, with up to 100% of poultry, including chickens, turkeys, and waterfowl, having asymptomatic infections in their intestinal tracts. Infected chicken feces may contain up to 10-9 bacteria per 25 grams, and due to the installations, the bacteria are rapidly spread to other chickens. This vastly exceeds the infectious dose of 1010,000 bacteria for humans. Prognosis Epidemiology Outbreak In January 2013, the UK's Food Standards Agency warned that two-thirds of all raw chicken bought from UK shops was contaminated with Campylobacter affecting an estimated half a million people annually and killing approximately 100. According to Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, a multistate outbreak of human Campylobacter infections have been reported since September 11, 2017. Total 55 cases have been reported from 12 states. Epidemiological and laboratory evidence indicated that puppies sold through Petland stores are a likely source of this outbreak. Fifty people out of 55 cases reported were either employees of Petland of have recently purchased a puppy at Petland or visited before illness began. Five people out of 55 cases reported were exposed to puppies from various sources. Campylobacter can spread through contact with dog feces. It usually does not spread from one person to another. However, activities such as changing an infected person's diapers or sexual contact with an infected person can lead to infection. Regardless of where they are from, any puppies and dogs may carry Campylobacter germs.